Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial and in this one we are going to create QR codes ourselves. Now you've probably seen a QR code on various items such as concert tickets, sport event tickets, payment processors, business cards and so on. And what QR stands for is quick response. So these codes are used to store any kind of information that can be easily read by machines. And in this tutorial we'll go through the process of creating a QR code, but in the next one we are going to see how we can read a QR code using Python and using our camera. So first we're going to import QR code, which is the library that would help us create our QR codes. The first approach would be creating a QR code that is just not something that we can modify in size. So it is the easiest approach. It's just three lines of code. So I'm going to add here approach one, text and size. First, we need our information. So the information that would be contained in the QR code, it can be, for example, a phone number, it can be an email address. Uh, so if, if it's something that you would like to pass to the end user, then this is where you would use it. Uh, in this case, it would be, hello, this is a QR code tutorial. But if, if the QR code is used for something, for example, such as, um, such as an entry pass to employees to enter a building, then you would not want this to be something that's easy to be guessed. It, you would want that to be some randomly generated, uh, let's say combination of, of numbers and letters. And then what you would like to use is QR to be equal to QR code dot make. So we're going to make a QR code that contains the information. Lastly, QR dot save. So I'm going to save this tutorial.png and simple as that in three lines of code we have the information stored into this tutorial image but as I said the size or so the dimensions 370 by 370 this is something that we cannot change at this moment using this code of course the size would also depend on the information that you have stored now the second approach so approach to let's say variable size Although it is, um, it, it is more flexible, of course, it's also more complex. So I'm going to comment this part of the code because we're no longer going to use that, but I'm going to use the information. So I'm going to have a QR code that contains the same information, but the way we create the QR code now is we're going to use QR code dot QR code. Keep in mind that these three letters are all capitals. And then in the brackets, there are four parameters that we need to account for. First is version. Now what version is, this is basically the variable that controls size. And it is an integer between 1 and 40. So just keep that in mind that it's an integer between 1 and 40 if you want to have. So basically version equal 1 is basically the smallest QR code in size that contains this information. Uh, version 40 is the largest in size that contains the same information. Then we have error underscore correction which is self-explanatory correcting the error um, but if you want to get into more details on this i'll leave a link in the description if you don't want then just use qr code dot constants dot error underscore correct underscore m so this line basically corrects part of the code so based on this last letter, it can be, it depends on the percentage. So you have L for low, M for medium, which is most frequently used one. And you have H for high and you have Q for quota, which is 25%. Uh, M is, I believe, 15% or less. But it's if you don't want to get bothered with this, just use this line of code and you'll be fine. Then we have box size. I'm going to set this to 10. And basically what this is, is number of pixels in a box so how much how many pixels are there in each qr box and then the last parameter is border and i'll set this to five but this part is basically this white space outside of the qr code so um, around the qr code but it's not something that you really use it however if you want to make sure that there's some white space around it then you would increase this or decrease it of course it depends on how much white space you would like to have around so Let's continue and create our QR code with our second approach. First, of course, we need to add our data, which is the information that we have up here. So this is our data. 
then we would like to make sure that fit is equal to true and we can create our image. Now our image is qr.makeImage and the parameters that we need to specify here is the fill color and the background color. Now you already know that what a QR code is basically we have a white background with elements that are in black color. So fill color would be equal to black, background color would be equal to white and we would like to save that image as let's save it as tutorial 2.png so underscore 2. So this is our second tutorial using these parameters. So we're using version 1 and this is how it looks like. Now it's a bit different of course compared to the first one. Uh, if we take a look at the size, so let's say um, this one is 390 by 390. So let's say that we would like to have a larger QR code. So let's increase the version to 10 and let's see how that impacts our size. So you can clearly see that it, it's, it looks much, uh, it looks a lot different than before and it's 670 by 670. Now, as I said, so this is 670 by 670. If you increase the box size, well, let's say we increase it by two or, or decrease it. So instead of having it like that, we have two times less. So instead of 670 by 670, it's 335 by 335. So that's the number of pixels in a box. So basically you can, you can uh, control the size in these two parameters which is version and box size. Now, what if you change the border to, let's say 15? So let's save this as a separate image. So again, this one, the second one was 335 by 335. So let's see what happens with um, our last image that the only thing that we changed is, you see the border outside, it's no longer the same. It's, it has uh, a much larger border. So as you can see, it, it also impacts the size. So that is also something that you can use to, to change the size. However, the content itself remains in this part that's in the middle. So the border changes the size, but not the, the size of the most important part of the image, which is the QR code. And that would be all regarding this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next tutorial in which what we're going to do is we're going to create a QR code reader, uh, which would use, well, we can also read these three uh, images, but also see how we can read um, something using our camera. So see you in the next video.